So given this function, we know that the limit as x approaches 9 is equal to 3, as shown by this point over here. And this is the point at which x equals 9. So let's say we were given an epsilon equal to 1, and we wanted to find the largest value of delta that would give us f of x values that are within epsilon of our limit 3. So we know that 3 plus epsilon is equal to 4, and 3 minus epsilon is equal to 2. So if we look at our graph, the x value that corresponds to an f of x value of 2 is equal to 4, and the x value that gives us a f of x that corresponds to a value of 4 is equal to 16. So now we know that our two possible delta values are either 7 because 16 minus 9 equals 7, or our second possible delta is 9 minus 4 equals 5. So what is the largest delta value that we can choose? Contra contrary to what some people might think, it's actually not 7 because if you think about it, if we chose an x value, 9 minus 7 equals 2. So if we chose f of 2, which would be over here, this point is no longer between 3 minus epsilon and 3 plus epsilon. Therefore, we have to choose 5 as our largest delta value. Because as long as we keep our x value between 4 and 9 plus 5, which equals 14, our f of x values will always fall between 3 plus epsilon and 3 minus epsilon. So our final answer is delta equals 5.